top 10 list that ticked me off. Like most people, you may have been pulled in with the title, Top 10 List That Tick Me Off. All lists tick me off! Everywhere I look, every news and media site keeps pushing out lists. There's a list for everything. Top 10 child celebrities and how they look now. Top 10 weirdest restaurants. Top 15 ways to go fuck yourself. Alright? Why is everything a fucking list? I'll tell you. Because a list of 10 or so items seems like it'll be short. But is it? No. You click on a list, and the first thing on that list is on its own separate page, surrounded by a billion ads. Then, then you have to click on another link to get to the second item on that list. Another page, another ad. Again and again. Before you know it, you've gone through a 15-page slideshow and saw 162 ads. It's merely a way to get you to cycle through maximum ads for the smallest amount of information, period. And speaking of clickbait, you know what? Just stay away from any article that has a question mark in the title. Can this one thing really help you lose weight? Or, can you really say these things on TV? And similar titles are all created this way in order to get you to click on their links. The same goes for salacious articles like, You won't believe what this cat did! Or, She said what? And especially any video that has someone's fat head looking shocked or aghast as if they just stepped on a baby filled with nails. It's bullshit impact imagery put there to give you the impression that something within the video is actually shocking. It's not. It's transparent visual triggering. Anything that sounds like anything I just said, ignore it. Move on. Because 9 out of 10 times, the article contains no information and is just whittled with unsubstantiated, hypothetical pseudo-factoids and made-up scenarios. It's not news. It's not information. It's a simple style of writing meant to set off a Pavlovian response in the human brain in order to trigger your natural inquisitive interest to get you curious. So... To the writers of these non-informative, speculatory mock articles, is this what you really want to do? Are you happy with your work? Have you accomplished what you have set out to do creatively in life? Is this really what that degree in literature was meant for? Probably not. And yeah, believe me, I know, it's tough making a buck in any creative field. But there's really nothing creative about writing an article which is little more than a laundry list of inane information. Be better than that. As for the rest of us, the readers, stop clicking on these moronic articles purely assembled to generate ad revenue. I want valid information from reliable sources, not a list of speculative idiocy. <laughs> Unimaginative, uncreative jerks. People sitting around clicking on this stuff all day. Morons. Stupid lists.